Good morning, friends. It's Mrs. Komnick again, and I wanted to share another story time with you. So a few years back, I had the honor of working at the Farmington uh, Library at the Truman Kindergarten Center. So I was a preschool and kindergarten librarian, which was a wonderful job for me because I love books and I love reading and I love working with children. So it was great. Uh, and there was thousands and thousands of books I had to take care of. And I was just kind of scouring and organizing the books one day and I discovered the story and it be quickly became one of my favorite children's books in my adult life. It took me a while to find a copy of my own because it's no longer in print so I'm so happy that I have this copy. So I would like to read it to you guys and I read it on Valentine's Day with my kindergartners because it's a love story but I think you guys will enjoy it. It's called Dear Bunny and it's a bunny love story. The author is Michaela Morgan, I like that name, and it's illustrated by Caroline Church. So, dear bunny. Little mouse there, looking all cute. I like the artwork in this too, it's very pretty. All right, so dear bunny. Let me show you the pictures first, and I'll read it. I don't know if you can see the girl bunny there. Once upon a time, there were two bunny rabbits. Their names were Valentino and Valentini, or Tino and Teeny for short. Uh, the sign says one lived here and one lived there. Every now and then they would peek at each other and think, oh, how lovely that bunny is. But neither one of them said a thing because they were both very, 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 very Shy. See the mice on the log. One day, Tino had an idea. I'll write a little letter, just a friendly hello sort of letter, and I'll put it in the hollow log for Teeny to find. So here's his letter. Right there. This is the letter Tino wrote. Dear Teeny Bunny, I hope you are well. I thought I would write you a letter because it's such a lovely warm day over here. There are some of the sweetest, most tender clover I have ever seen. It is perfect. Perhaps you would like to hop over and share some of the warmth and sunshine and clover with me. I look forward very much to hearing from you. Best wishes, Tino. So I think it's like a little love letter. Oh, here he is at the log. Then Tino went hop, hop, hopping over to the hollow log and popped the letter just as it started to rain. Big drops of rain fell. Blop, blop, blop. So hop, hop, hop. Tino hurried home. And the mice say, funny bunny. Let's go. My ears are getting wet. That's what the mice are saying. There's Teeny. <gasps> She's got something too. A little later, Teeny had the very same idea, and so she set off with a fine present of leaves and petals and a little note for Tino. Teeny popped everything into the hollow log and hopped off quickly as the rain plip plopped down. This is the note that Teeny wrote Dear Tino, I hope you will like these lovely leaves and petals. They are very beautiful and so sweet and tender. They have exceptional tenderness. I picked them especially for you. Please accept them as a small gift from me. Teeny. P.S. I so look forward to hearing from you. Oh, that was nice. Oh. There's the mice. Meanwhile, by the riverbank, the mouse family and their nests were getting wetter and wetter and wetter. Blip, blop, bitter, blush, blush. Ah! said Mrs. Mouse. Brrr! said Mr. Mouse. Went the babies. Sorry, Socks is looking at me funny. 
Through the rain, they scrambled looking for shelter. And where do you think they went? I like that little leaf umbrellas. To the hollow log. It was dry and warm and snugly, lined with paper, petals, and leaves. Perfect. Hmm, I wonder what they found to eat there. Soon they were all busy nibbling and gnawing and shredding for bedding and ripping and weaving and making the coziest nest you could ever imagine complete with beautiful petal blankets. Delicious! Cozy! Mm-mm! I don't know where they found those. Aw, I'll snuggle. <laughs> All through the cold and stormy days, the mice snoozed. They were snug and safe and surrounded with love and warmth and exceptional tenderness. Hmm, I've heard those words before. There's Tino and Teeny. Oh, their faces look different. Hmm. At last, the sun peeked through the clouds and the mice peeked out of their nest. And what do you think they saw? <laughs> There's no letter for me. Oh dear, oh no. What have we done? Oh, Tino's crying. And then a little later. Mrs. Mouse. Oh, oh, oh. What have we done? said Mr. Mouse. What can we do? Speak the baby mice. There's the mice. Oh, there's a sight word. B-I-G. But I can sound that out in a minute. Then for very small creatures, they had a very b -i -g -b big, they had a very big idea. They decided to give up their nest, put the words back together, and make a message for the lovelorn bunnies. They would choose only the best words, the ones that kept them warmest for the cold and stormy days. So their nice words are tenderness, Sweetness, most tender, especially for you, and best wishes. Those are nice words. Oh, look at their new message. All pieced together. Let's see what it says. Especially for you. Hope, warm wishes, and sunshiny thoughts for the sweetest, best, most tender love. You are so lovely, so beautiful, oh, so very exceptionally sweet and perfect. Please accept me. Well, that's a run-on sentence. <laughs> I didn't put any punctuation marks, but I think it's nice. Tino hopped over and gazed at it. Teeny hopped over and gazed at it. Oh, I see hearts. I know what that means. That's when Mrs. Comic starts fangirling. Then they gazed at each other and that was that. I think they liked the note. And they both lived Happily ever after. <laughs> End with the pun. Aww. And the mice say, hooray, we did it. Aww, I love happy endings. I do too, mice. I do too. Okay. So that is Dear Bunny, a bunny love story. And I just think this story is adorable. I like that the bunnies, uh, even though they were shy, they still tried to reach out to each other and they were so kind. And I like that even though the mice made a mistake and it was an accident, they took responsibility and they fixed it and everything worked out.
So I think there's some fun lessons in there. And um, I always enjoy doing the voices on this as well. I hopefully you didn't mind my bunny and mice voices for that. So this is another story time with Mrs. Comnick. Again, like always, I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. You're staying safe. And when it's not raining, I hope you're, you know, getting outside a little bit and enjoying this weather. All right. Well, I will see you guys soon. Uh, thanks for listening. And as always, remember, you are cared for very much. Hearts. Bye. Bunny bye.